What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to my Face Collide pre-release video. So in today's video, what, what I'm planning on doing is what I'm going to show you guys my live polls at the pre-release pre itself. And then later on in the video, we should have a recap of the whole day. And I'll kind of explain to you like uh, what down, what went down throughout the day and um, recap the polls we got. And yeah, show you all the trades that went down, all the people I like, kind of talk about all the people I met. And yeah, so let's head on to the next clip, which should be the Face Clyde pre-release itself. All right, it's time. All right, guys, so we're here at the pre-release. I got my six packs. We're doing the old format. We don't have the new kind of deck box. So yeah, it is really bad right now. Yeah, it's really bad. So yeah, it is really bad right now. Yeah, two Lugia pack cards. We got a Duff Up Spray. Two Mega Alex's M. And a Zygarde pack card. But let's go, guys. Let's go, man. So here's the code card. I don't think you guys Code card as per you. You guys know how it works. So let's go. So we've got a Riolu, a Seal, Larvae Top, Volvi, Burmy, the Evolution Spray, Chichino, Double Colors, that's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Kalucha, and a Zygarde, regular Burr. Oh, Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Had to be done. Next pack. 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 Next I'm going for a flanky right now. Classic Amity opening. Can we get any oh, so what is it? What is it? Genesect is one of my favorites. Genesect EX. Oh, okay. Drive change and rapid blast. It looks like it travels from Black Mobile to Black Mobile. She stays on video. Diglett. Real. 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 Another Oh my god. And it's just a Now, our last pack of this, let's do this. We got an Ordino and a Lucario. Let's do this. Can we get a Let's get straight on. Last pack. We start off with a Wyman. Possible Escape. Shauna. 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 I guess, I guess yeah. we didn't get many, many good cards, but we did get the open place for with all of these awesome people around. There's Brody, there's Skull Cario. That's crazy. Look at all these secret guys. What did you get? Um, I get out of the Oh, is that what you got? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching my live polls at the pre-release. Uh, but now it's time to recap everything that kind of happened throughout the day. So I didn't get many vlogs or anything like that to kind of show the event. Um, but I can tell the story, so that's what I'm here to do. So, first of all, what I'd like to show off is I got given a Fates Collide boost box, as you guys can see on the main cam. Um, just, which was really nice uh, of the guy there, just because I do use these for storage as well. And it was cool to um, get hands on with the box before I actually received my case. But yeah, we got Mega Alex Zam on the front there with the Fates Collide logo. We got uh, Zygarde um, on the top there. Then we've got the Lugia Break. Mega Alakazam channel on the back. Feel free to pause and have a read of the like set description there if you would like. And then we got Delphox Break on that side. But yeah, Boost Box is pretty sweet. You guys would have saw that in the pre-release video as my little background, which was awesome, awesome little theme. But next up, we've got the Booster Pack Arts themselves. So yeah, once again, you've got Zygarde, you've got Lugia Break, Mega Alakazam, and Delphox Break. So that is sweet. Let's knock this camera down just a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Those pack arts are pretty sweet. Let me know in the comment section below what pack art is your favorite and why. Why? My my favorite pack art would definitely have to be the Lugia Break pack art just because, I don't know, it just looks sweet. It looks so good. Um, I just love how they do the lightning bolt kind of design around, around everything. It seems to be a bit of a theme on the later sets. But yeah, so that is that. That is that. Actually, let's put these off to the side. Booster Box looks way too good to uh, cover up. So next up, next up, next up. We have the pre-release promo. So from what I know, there are four pre-release promos. You got Tyranitar, Zygarde, Moltres, and White Kyurem. So the one that I got today was this Tyranitar one, which is pretty pretty cool. Definitely one of the faves. Out. I was really hoping for the Moltres, personally, because the art is better than the, the one in the set itself. Um, but yeah, getting my hands on all four will be difficult. It will be very difficult. But yeah, if you guys did not notice, um, in America, they had like little like mini elite trainer boxes with uh, four packs inside and like a little 22 card kind of build to build their decks and stuff. But today, um, at my pre-release, we only had, we had the standard format where you got six packs to begin with and two packs after. But by the way, with those two packs, um, I'll leave a link in the description. I've actually uh, recorded those in a separate video, which I did in collab with Booster King. So yeah, I'll be sure to leave uh, links in the description of the video, and I'll probably leave a link on screen sometime throughout the video uh, for you guys to go check out those two packs. Definitely don't want to miss those two. It was a pretty fun video to record with someone else. It's um, a very nice experience. But um, yeah, so I will have a spoiler in this video showing you guys the pull that I did get from that um, those two packs. I did manage to get a pull, which was awesome because these uh, pre-release boxes are insanely jam-packed with pulls. Um, but yeah, so as you guys saw at my pre-release, I managed to pull a Genesect EX full art and a Team Rocket's Handiwork full art. Like, check that card out. Wow, what an awesome card. And then the spoiler from my two final packs was a Kingdra EX. So that is pretty, pretty sweet. I couldn't go three for three on full art pulls. Like, I legitimately did not pull a hollow. I literally just pulled EXs on full art. So pre-release luck is on point. Like, very solid day overall for the pre-release pulls. But that is not all. That is not all. That's uh, just the beginning of my day. I was absolutely swamped 
with trade offers, buy offers. Like you, you guys would know that I have a rather not large, but I do have a couple of EXs and hollows kind of like on hand. And I took the binder with me at pre-release just to do some trades and like yeah see what we could do so I did some and I was absolutely swamped throughout the whole day like you you would have saw in my uh, opening video that um, I just like stopped talking because I was like so like gobsmacked about like what was going on around me and just the whole vibe of the pre-release just like really just my jaw just dropped so many so many like people there it was yeah it was sweet but um trades let's talk trades now so initially i i did sell to one of the guys there his name was reese um i did sell off like a shame and then a couple of other cards there today so i did did do some sales too just because they were more pricey more playable cards that were going to be rather hefty to trade for if you know what i mean uh but um yeah that was that was on the side that was pretty sweet thanks thanks reese for that if you're watching this video um but trade wise we have this one uh, this tra this Bridget was from Poke Legend. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description of the video. Pretty cool little guy. One of uh, one of my previous trade people. I'll talk about him later on in the video. Uh, one of his friends came along to the pre-release. Um, but yeah, so I got this Bridget. I can't remember. I think it was a Giovanni scheme. I traded this one for. So that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then moving on to his friend. This is. Um, Shalcario, aka Pokemon, or aka Jack, um, did a trade with me, and um, I got a. We did some solid trades. I picked up this Skylar. It is not. It's not in like minty, minty fresh. This Skylar's got a bit of like edge wear and stuff, but it is Skylar. So I was like, yep, she's pretty. She's bay. Definitely going to scoop her up, regardless of condition. Once again, we got Juniper, Juniper Bay. Had to trade for her as well. This was from um, Jack as well. So all these next cards are from Jack. Uh, we got a Curum. So this is actually for my set. I actually needed um, this Curum for light for my Ancient Orange set. Did not pull it out of a whole case. That is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. So that was an awesome trade. We got Mega Gardevoir EX full art. So yeah, that was an awesome trade. And a Mega Mewtwo EX full art as well. So these two, Jack... He, he really wanted my uh, Pokemon Catcher Secret Rare that I pulled in my 1,000 subscriber special, Dark Explorer special. Um, so yeah, we, we traded, he, he decided that he wanted to trade me these two for that Pokemon Catcher, which was definitely like a win on my part. But at the same time, that card, that Pokemon Catcher has like a, a lot of like sentimental value to me because it was like one of my pulls for that 1k milestone. So it was a really big trade for me to do. Um, sentimentally. I don't know if you guys would get attached to cards, but um, that's just how it is. But yeah, so I got those two cards for that Pokemon Catcher. And then I also traded for another Bridget as well, just to add to the Bay collection. The Poke Bay collection. Alrighty, so now moving on to trades with Booster Kings. Um, a couple of cards in here. Uh, I think there was one card I really like, just needed for my set. I could not pull it but let's go, let's, ha let's have a look at these trades. So I got the Mega Venusaur EX from Generations. I opened my Generations booster case and I did not pull a single Mega EX, so I had to trade for that one. Um, this card, this is the card that I was just talking about. I just could not pull it. I just, Steven just doesn't love me. Does not love me at all. But um, I finally have Steven in my hands and just look at that card. Wow, 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 wow. Awesome trade. We got the Thunderous EX Full Art. I traded for this one purely just based on art. I just wanted another one. Um, and then Gengar. Gengar being the favorite. Like, if I didn't have Darkrai as my mascot, Gengar would be my mascot. Because just check that. That is so good. So good. Okay. And I also traded. Like, I saw a Darkrai. I had to trade for it. So this was from Booster Kings as well. Um, he actually pulled this one in a Mewtwo EX Power Trio tin, um, where he also like shouted me out in as well. So that's that's pretty cool. It's got a bit of a, like a backstory behind this dark right. And then moving on to the final trade of the day. This one was a uh, pretty cool trade. So I traded with a new guy that I met at the pre-release. Um, his name was Kevin. 
and um, I traded for this Articuno Full Art from Generations, which is pretty a pretty pretty card. Once again, I did not pull this out of 36 packs that I opened um, in my in my 1K sub special Generations custom booster box. Um, and then also Samantha Zapdos, an awesome awesome card. Traded for this one too. And then purely based on art, like once again, I just I just fall in love with this Ho-Oh card, so I have another Ho-Oh EX full art as well. So that was the trade damage, like you guys can see like work was put in, like so so many trades went down, there were so many people I was trying to get around to and just like try and, I don't know, just talk to people but it was just way overwhelming, I just couldn't, I just couldn't comprehend with like what was happening. Um, but yeah, so moving on to the bulk. So this is like kind of like my bulk cards that I got throughout the day. Uh, Boost King's threw in like his last final two packs in here as well. So that's why it looks like I've got so many. But the MVPs of my um, my round. So round one that I played, I lost. I um, just couldn't get any energies out. I had like 16 energies in my deck and I just could not get them out. Um, so I lost my first match. Second match, my MVP was definitely X Bloud. Um, was it X Bloud or Loud? No, Loudred. Um, it has the one of his attacks name is Stomp. And if you flip a coin, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Here we go. So it says flip a coin if heads. This attack does 40 more damage. So I managed to get really lucky with Stomp and just wrecked house. Um, and then of course my Genesect. Full Art was already built up on the bench and cleaned up as well with, let's just have a look here as well, have a look here, with Rapid Blaster, so it says discard as many metal energy attached to this Pokemon as you like, this attack does 20 more damage for each energy discard, discarded in this way, so yeah, got that stacked up and just used it as basic, I didn't even discard any energy off it, um, I just, yeah, wrecked house, wrecked house. Uh, but yeah, then round three, round three, yeah, Genesec was definitely the MVP in, in round three. I just got an, an Ultra Ball, um, found it in my deck, got it on the field, stacked it, you know, you know, you already know. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much the recap of my day. Then after after the pre-release, went to Macca's and then came back here and recorded the two final packs with Booster Kings and yeah, crazy, crazy day. I'm fully, like, I'm just done. I'm ready for bed. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed my Fates Collide pre-release video and I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.